going on guys it is green here and today i'm bringing you guys another tutorial um i know i said something in my last video about 300 likes uh, for another tutorial but i was just kind of taking the piss seeing if we can get that i don't know if we did or not by the time because i'm recording this before the other video is even uploaded um but yeah this is going to be a 3d text tutorial so you'll see here i have some cinematics i think i'm going to use this one and uh, yeah, let's get right into it. So this is actually um, a video that you guys have already seen on my channel, uh, but at the time that I'm recording this video, it's not quite done yet. So I'm gonna make some 3D text for it, and uh, yeah, let's, let's see how it goes. So anyway, um, right now this is gonna be the, the third text cinematic. It's gonna say Second Nature, because that's the, that's the title of the GB montage, as you guys, I'm sure you already know if you've seen the video. Anyway, that's the cinematic right there. You just want to pre-compose your cinematics uh, right when you get them. So pre-composing, you just drag it down into the pre-comp thing, and it'll turn into a composition like that. Uh, so I'm just going to line it up where it goes, and then I'm going to press Control Alt T. It's going to bring up the timer map. I'm going to line it up with the keyframes. Uh, go here. Go to about the middle, and then I, what I'm going to want to do is press S for scale. Type it to 125, and then go to position P. Um, and just align that so the, the heads up display is out of the cinematic. Uh, next, I'm just going to mute it real quick. Double tap R to bring back up the time remap keyframes and then go to the graph editor. I'm going to come over here and just click this button. And it'll just give me a nice basic velocity so that it kind of speeds up, slows down, and speeds up again towards the end of the cinematic. Um, so next, we're going to go into the actual cinematic itself. Where we have our text, or where we have our cinematic, um, and we are going to right click and go to track camera. What this is going to do is it's going to generate like a lot of different points along here, and we're going to use those to make our 3D text in a minute. So I'll be right back when that is done analyzing. All right, so here we are back at it again. Um, our 3D camera tracker, you can see up here in the corner, has finished tracking, and you can see. Oh, sorry, I clicked back on that. You can see all of our points along here. Uh, so basically what this does is it, it creates these points and it generates them and if I was to create something like say I created text it gives it a good a good little track along the surface there based on the locations of all those points that the camera tracked but what we're gonna want to do is go here find a find a surface something flat to the ground preferably is what I like to do and you're gonna just wait until you have something nice lined up like I'm trying to find one that I really like. This one looks pretty good. It looks pretty flat. So I'm going to right click and click create solid and camera. And what this is going to do is just make a nice flat little uh, little square. And it'll put it along the ground like that. So next, uh, what I tend to do is that I'll press rotation R. And I'll just kind of line it up straight. And uh, can rotate it along certain axes. Just kind of, str kind of straighten it out and flatten it out with the... Uh, with the cinematic so it, it basically goes pretty flat with the floor um, anyway next thing we're going to do is make our element layer so we're going to press solid let's name it element that's what I typically do uh, and you're going to right click go to effect and video copilot and element I assume you guys have element 3d v2 um, if not we might be in a bit of an issue but uh, yeah if you if you don't have it just kind of google around you'll be able to find it um, plenty of tutorials on how to download it on YouTube anyway so here we are, whoop, I forgot to make my text. So now I'm going to right click, click new, click text, and uh, like I said, this is going to be called second nature. I'm going to do something, hmm, do something like this, and I'll make this font, right, I'll make the bottom a little bit bigger, and I just kind of lower it. So it looks, it looks alright, something like that. So I'm going to have the second sitting on top of the nature. Obviously it's all centered and blah blah blah. Uh, all caps, that sort of stuff. Anyway, drag that down to the bottom so it's not showing anymore. Go back to your element layer, click custom layers, and you're going to want to go to custom text and masks. Make that your text. Um, then you're going to go to texture maps and make that your cinematic. Anyway, so we're going to go to the scene setup now. And basically what I like to do is um, I, I just use my basic white text a lot of the time. I turn on the environment and I just change it, click the cinematic so it's gonna reflect the cinematic when you add some reflective uh, qualities to your material. Anyway, so you click down here, click Extrusion Model, and then the bevel. Um, I usually 
I, I think one is a bit much, so I, I usually shrink it down to maybe 0 0.6, 0 0.4, somewhere between between there. Um, then we scroll down, and I typically turn the reflective reflectivity all the way up, and then I go to the illumination, and it's it's still on white, and I just kind of turn that up until I get something that I kind of like. So it's a really white reflective text. Um, this might seem a little repetitive. So you can obviously change it up with whatever materials you want, uh, change the color, what have you, whatever you find to be best for you, but I, I like this, it's a really clean uh, way, it doesn't look so great now, but once you get it into the scene, it looks a lot better in my opinion. Anyway, so you're going to click OK, uh, we're going to come back here, and you'll see that we have it loaded up, it should be somewhere on here, there it is, there's our text, so it's just kind of off to the area, but luckily we have this solid that is kind of in the middle of our, right in the middle of our thing, and that's what we're going to maybe I'll center this real quick and that's typically where we're gonna put our text so um, oh I forgot one thing uh, just for for the ground basically what we're gonna do is go to your starter physical pack take this little floor fracture it's gonna be in the same group folder uh, and I'm gonna really quickly just shrink it down change the uh, Y to 1 so it's just perfectly flat and lock it make it a little bigger and then we can use this as our floor. So we're just gonna, whoop, we're gonna quickly move this up so it's flat on the floor. You'll see later on this will come in really handy. Um, you can just make this another white material, a, a different one. You could make it like plastic white or something. And that just makes it, it'll, it'll come in handy when we're doing our mask shadows later, or our, our shadows and uh, such later. Anyway, so now uh, what we're gonna wanna do is snap the uh, the text from wherever it is which is somewhere over here we're gonna move it to this solid that we have made it's flat on the floor so we're gonna just P over here uh, for the position and then we're gonna come up to group one particle replicator and we see that we have our three position command uh, position coordinates so we're just gonna copy and paste X Y here's Z and it's going to go kind of in the general area of where our uh, where our solid is. It looks kind of weird. Did I fuck something up? I did. There. Now it's perfectly flat. Um, the only thing we're going to have to change is the rotation a little bit. And that's not a big deal. You can just kind of flatten it out. See, we have this square on the bottom. We're just going to try and make it more or less line up with the square of our solid. Uh, let's see here. I think this is about good. We could definitely do better, but it'll, it'll work for now. And then we're going to take it. Whoops. Got a particle look. Maybe make it a little bigger. So it just kind of fits in better. Yeah, something like that. Anyway, and now we can uh, delete our solid because we have this in a pretty good place that we want it. And next, what we're going to do is I turn on ambient occlusion. So you go into the render settings and you go to ambient occlusion enable it and you usually just kind of turn this all the way up and see what it looks like oops I didn't actually enable it so there you can see there's a bit of a shadow down there on the bottom um, maybe a little bit of stuff around the edges it just makes it look a little nicer sometimes you can just mess around with the the qualities of it see what you want get what you get what you like I'm just gonna go back to 50 20 turn this on oh yeah, so it, it looks all right. I'll, I'll leave it with what I've got. Um, now it's also ref very reflective. So what I'm going to do is add an extra lighting, uh, lighting thing, just to light it up a little bit. Just around the rotation until you get it somewhere that you think looks good. Like you can see the lights reflected there. There we go, I like that. Anyway, so now what we've got is our lighting. We've got our whole thing set up. Uh, we just have this weird little flat thing underneath it, which we want to get rid of. So uh, the way to do that while keeping these little shadows that we've made on it is go to scene setup. Then you click on your uh, your uh, material, it's this square. Uh, you're going to scroll down over here, down to the match. Uh, to where there's advanced settings and we're going to click on matte shadow and what that's going to do is it'll make it'll take it away but it'll keep the shadow so 
you can see there's still that little shadow there um, and the lighting kind of lights right across it it looks it's really good and really quick it's like a really really clean way to make quick 3d text that's basically all I do and then obviously there's some touch-ups you can add add other things to make more shadows and such but that's just a really clean quick way to do it um, I'll give you guys a quick little preview of what we've got going on here and yeah I guess that'll be the video if you guys like the video be sure to leave a like if you have any other questions leave them in the comments below um, the font I was just using there is called gratis and it was in all caps um, but yeah if you have any questions specifically on stuff not working it, it tends to be um, a big a big issue uh, with 3d text is recording the cinematic you're going to try and get as much um, as high frame rate as you can if you can record on PC even better uh, the more cinem or not the more cinematics the more frames in your cinematic uh, the better it's gonna look but yeah I hope you guys enjoy the video um, I might need to actually change the change the velocity on that a little bit because it looks like I was losing some frames but I'm not 100 percent sure we'll have to see when I watch it back uh, but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did leave a like and I'll see you guys in the next one peace out